Hey everybody, so I'm on my way to the hairdressers and I don't know why I didn't, I put the address in my GPS just to see what would be the best route. I'm not sure why the GPS took me on the highway because the highway, the 401 right now, is so congested. It is probably around 11.30. I'm extremely late for my appointment. Well, not extremely late, but I am late for my appointment for this fact that there is so much traffic on the highway right now. I'm not really sure why the GPS even directed me to the highway. I should have just took the back roads to get to my hairdresser. So I just wanted to do this video because on my way, um, this is my hair. I just kind of detangled it before going to the hairdresser, making sure that my hair is detangled and making sure that when I go in there, it's a bit easier to get ready to wash, even though my hairdresser does all that. So I've been going to my hairdresser for over 20 years. I don't even know how many years it's been. I just know I think I've been going to my hairdresser from my son was probably around two years old I've been going so my son's 24 now so definitely around 22 years 20 years I've been going to my hairdresser I do not let anybody else I'll say it again I do not let anybody else straighten my hair I do not let anybody else really touch my hair when it comes to braiding I may let like a few people braid my hair I may let a few people like cornrow my hair but when it comes to straightening my hair I am yet to find a hairdresser that can do what my hairdresser can do and I've been to a few hairdressers when I was younger and they all complained about the thickness of my hair or oh you have a lot of hair on your head it's gonna take a bit of a time my hairdresser has never complained um, she's always just been very welcoming as I sit in her chair just very nice and welcoming and warm so um, this is I'll show you the after effects so this is the hair right now um, and I'll try to do another video once I stop and show you what my hair is gonna look like with my press out or a blowout. I don't know what I want to call it. I just get my hair straightened. Straightened in the sense of not using any perm. I don't perm my hair. I haven't permed my hair in years. Even before the natural hair phase came in, my hair wasn't even permed. So I stopped perming my hair, I think. Oh, I stopped perming my hair when I went back, when I went to university. Um, story behind why I stopped perming my hair when I went to university, I just couldn't afford to buy the perm anymore because I had to pay for my books. So I remember going through my budget and doing some cutbacks and I said, you know what? I'm going to cut back on perm. I'm going to cut back on perming my hair, on relaxing my hair. Because really and honestly, I was a university student. I was a young mother. Couldn't afford a lot of things um, except to go to school and pay for my books and pay for my education and to support my child. So I cut back on perm probably in 20... I think it was like 2022. Or I don't know. It was a long time ago, basically. Oh, years before this natural thing came in. Yeah, so I will come back and add another video to this one as I drive in this congested Toronto traffic. It's crazy. It is only 11.30 and the traffic on here, it's worse than New York or it's as compared to New York traffic. All right, everyone, take care. I'll come back later and show you the results of my hair. Thanks, everyone. So I made it. I'm here in the parking lot going to my hairdressers. Don't mind my hair. I detangled. My hair is a lot of hair, so it all can't fit underneath the hat, but it's all detangled and ready to go. So I'm going to get ready to walk into my hairdresser. Oh, that was a drive. That was definitely a drive down, um, but I'll come back as I'll take some more shots as I am walking in and as I'm getting ready to do my hair just to show you the process of straightening my hair. Take care, everybody. Hi, everyone. So I'm finally here at my hairdressers. I've made it. The 401 was a bit congested. I ended up coming a bit late, but I'm here safely. And I'm just going to show you the process of straightening my hair. I'm getting ready to wash it. One hour late. Oh, sorry. Time is money. I did come approximately one hour late. I, the 401 told me 30 minutes. 30 minutes turned into 45 minutes, everyone. So be careful if you're traveling on the 401 at 11.15 a.m on a weekday it's still very congested but i'm here so let's get ready to show you the process and as i mentioned before this is the only hair dresser i come to when i'm ready to get my hair straightened okay everyone
done. Um, this is, yeah, this is my hairdresser that I've been going to for years, decades, at least two decades I've been going to her, and this is the reason why. So again, this is my hair when it's straight, and thank you. My hair, and it looks good, always looks good once I go to my hairdresser. I don't straighten my hair myself. If I do try to straighten it myself, it will not look like this, that's the reality. I want to encourage us that as ladies, we definitely should be going to the hairdresser to cut our ends and to straighten our hair. There's nothing wrong if you have natural hair. And there's actually nothing wrong with straightening your hair um, because when you straighten your hair, you're able to see your ends. You're able to make sure that any split ends that you have, that you're cutting those split ends, which is very important and giving yourself a treatment as well. So one of the things is when you go to the hairdresser, you want to make sure that you're giving yourself getting a treatment like I did. I think I got a moisturizer treatment. Um, I asked what treatment I got, but I forgot what kind of treatment I got. So I did get a treatment. So this is it. This is what it looks like, everyone. Yeah. So thank you for coming on my journey of going to my hairdresser and getting my hair done. Take care, everyone.